Hola, buenas tardes a todos. Bueno, ahorita solamente hay ocho personas conectadas. Pero, este, quiero ver si todos tienen. Ok. Eh, primero que todo, mi nombre es Juan Lima, como ya les había informado en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yo voy a ser su maestro, ¿verdad?, durante este módulo. Y este, como uno de los, de los aspectos de Insafor es que todos los alumnos, exacto, que todos los alumnos tienen la cámara. Y la razón por la que quieren la cámara es porque necesitan saber si la persona realmente está ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces cuentan las participaciones. Las personas que están ahí. Este, no importa si estamos bien arreglados o no bien arreglados, pero sí es de mantener la cámara activa. ¿verdad? Y ahorita ya está. Sí, sí. En, el, en la parte izquierda les aparece el de la par les aparece la cámara. Entonces, para activar la cámara, solo seleccionan o le dan clic. Si están desde la computadora, le dan clic a la cámara y ya se les va a activar. Igualmente, el micrófono. El micrófono lo pueden activar dándole clic y lo desactivan dándole otro clic, ¿verdad? Ahora, la manera en cómo lo vamos a hacer es, en el momento que alguien esté hablando, tienen que tener el micrófono apagado, solo el micrófono, pero no la cámara, solo el micrófono, entonces podemos apagar el micrófono cuando alguien esté hablando. Cuando yo les pida a uno de ustedes que, habla, que hable, entonces seleccionan el micrófono y ya van a poder dar su opinión, ¿verdad? El motivo es por el feedback que se escucha. Algunas veces no van a lograr escuchar a sus compañeros si todos tienen el micrófono activado, ¿verdad? Entonces, y activarlo cuando sea el turno de nosotros. Recuerden que está al lado izquierdo. Al lado izquierdo. Tengo a César Benavides. César Benavides, puede activar la cámara, por favor. Y Cristian, Cristian Cardona. Puede activar la cámara, por favor. El detalle, como les repito, no es por aquí, sino por Insafor, que ellos necesitan que las personas estén ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces necesitan ver el rostro. Me faltaría Constantino. Conectame nuevamente porque no me activa la cámara. Entonces, ahorita. Eh, para bloquear el micrófono y ponerse en mute, está al lado izquierdo. Entonces, ahorita pueden presionar mute y todos estarían para poder darle las instrucciones y luego cada uno va a dar su opinión y se va a presentar. Ok. Bueno, entonces, iniciamos. Bueno, como les dije anteriormente, mi nombre es Juan Lima, yo voy a ser su maestro y es un placer estar este día con usted. Yo sé que todos trabajan para Aeroman y sé que es un trabajo arduo el que están haciendo porque a pesar de que todo el mundo está con esto de la pandemia, ustedes también están trabajando y están de cierto modo en contacto, ¿verdad?, con, con otras. Entonces, siempre de mantener el, el cuidado para no infectarse. Ahora, con respecto al programa, como ya todos saben, el programa es financiado por Insafor. Insafor es prácticamente con el apoyo de la empresa de ustedes quienes les proveen las clases. Entonces, ustedes no cancelan Simplemente Insafor eh, eh, proporciona el, el dinero. Ahora, un detalle. Según Samuel, si no me equivoco, que es de Recursos Humanos, él dijo que ustedes no pueden faltar a clases. 
Entonces, durante, yo sé que algunos tienen turnos rotativos, pero él explicó que durante estos próximos dos meses a ninguna persona se le va a cambiar el horario. Entonces, eso implica que todos estarán a la hora adecuada, que sería de 7 a 9, ¿verdad? Y recordando que hay un programa que es Schoology, que es el que les dije, bueno, ya les mandé las indicaciones, la mayoría se suscribió, no sé si hay alguien que todavía esté pendiente de suscribirse. No. ¿Alguien quiere tener dificultad? ¿No? Para inscribirse. Solamente era de, de inscribirse en, en Scology, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Solamente eso. De igual manera les voy a explicar cómo va a funcionar porque tienen ciertas tareas que van a completar, ¿verdad? Entonces les voy a ir explicando paso a paso cómo se van a descargar las actividades, cómo las van a subir y el resto de videos que tienen ahí, que prácticamente van a ser videos que vamos a ver durante la clase, pero que también ustedes en su tiempo libre pueden verlos para que vayan reforzando, ¿verdad? Igual todas las actividades que están ahí son relacionados con lo que estamos viendo, pero ustedes no lo pueden hacer antes de la fecha, ¿verdad? Sino que yo les voy a ir informando el día que, que tienen que, que acceder, descargar la actividad, completarla y luego subirla. Ahora, un punto importante de eso es que la mayoría de actividades yo se las he programado para que ustedes las puedan hacer como las clases son, lunes, martes y miércoles de 7 a 9, entonces ustedes tienen jueves, viernes, sábado, para realizar dichas actividades, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ir trabajando de esa manera para que ustedes no sientan saturados que van a estar a las 9 de la noche haciendo tarea, sino que les voy a dejar unas, las que son más pesadas, que las puedan hacer durante el jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo, ¿verdad? Que sean las más pesaditas. Ahora, hay cuatro evaluaciones. Hay una que es fácil con respecto a vocabulario. Hay otra que es uh, oral, en la cual ustedes van a tener una presentación oral. Yo les explicaré el tema a, a su debido tiempo. Luego tendrán otra que es, eh, es escrito y ese es con respecto a los temas que se han visto en la unidad. Entonces yo les voy a informar con respecto a eso. Luego tienen la última evaluación que también es escrita y es con respecto a la, a la unidad, pero eso incluye como un poco más de temas para... Eh, verificar que sí comprendieron todo lo que se vio durante el módulo. Ahora, eso con respecto a las evaluaciones, en cuanto a la asistencia. También la asistencia es importante, no solamente para mí, sino que para Insacor. Entonces, ellos están monitoreando. Si ustedes se fijan, la clase está siendo uh, grabada y la razón por la que está siendo grabada es porque ellos necesitan verificar que todos los alumnos se estén conectando es por eso que les pedía que mostraran el rostro porque necesitan ver que sí hay personas allí, que no es como alguien que solamente quiso estar allí y, y no estaba. Entonces sí necesitan ver que la persona está poniendo atención, que la persona está participando y todo eso. Por eso les pido la cámara. Hasta el momento solo Constantino me dijo que tenía problemas con la cámara. Entonces sí se comprende, ¿verdad? Pero eh, logremos activarla y de esa manera ellos podrán ver que ustedes están ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa sería la manera en cómo vamos a estar trabajando. Y bueno, ustedes son básico 2, entonces no les voy a hablar mucho español, les voy a hablar en cosas que ustedes no entiendan. Claramente yo se los puedo decir en español para que todo quede claro. Pero eh, poco a poco, a medida vaya pasando el tiempo, ustedes ya no van a ir hablando en, en español, ya no me van a ir preguntando en español, sino que todo tiene que ser en inglés, ¿verdad? Obviamente es poco a poco y van a ver que lo, lo, van, lo van a lograr hacer de esa manera. Eso es una de las cosas. El siguiente es que cuando, cuando haya una evaluación, yo les voy a informar con anticipación para que ustedes estudien. ¿verdad? Entonces, esas actividades tienen un tiempo límite. Por ejemplo, los exámenes. Ustedes los van a hacer durante la hora clase. Primero tenemos una hora clase y luego tienen la hora en la que van a hacer el examen. Entonces, ese examen ustedes lo van a hacer y lo van a hacer con tiempo. Ese tiempo significa que van a tener, por ejemplo, 45 minutos. Una, una hora o 
algún tiempo en específico. Entonces ustedes lo completan en esa hora y obviamente se cancelará cuando ya el, el tiempo haya caducado. Entonces eso es muy importante para que ustedes vayan estudiando y no a la hora que tengan el examen estén viendo porque no les va a quedar tiempo para estar revisando su, su libro. Por cierto, el libro está en, el, en, el, en Schoology, para los que ya accedieron, ahí lo pueden descargar. Y es, se llama Básico 2, entonces es el que ustedes pueden descargar para, para utilizarlo durante la clase, aunque yo se lo voy a estar proyectando, pero también lo pueden hacer este, de manera de descargarlo a su teléfono o a su computadora, como mejor les parezca. Bueno, entonces eso era todo de mi parte para explicarle la, la temática de la clase, cómo será evaluado y como ustedes saben, son tres días a la semana, dos horas clase, entonces hay que sacarle provecho. Entonces eso sería la pequeña introducción del programa. Ahora empezaríamos ya en inglés. Entonces me voy a presentar yo primero. Y luego yo voy a ir mencionando la persona que se va a presentar y lo va a hacer de la misma manera en que yo lo voy a hacer. Entonces lo vamos a hacer con tres uh, cosas principales. Entonces el primero sería el nombre, el segundo sería la edad. Si no quieren decir la edad, recuérdense que si por ejemplo yo soy del, tengo 31, entonces yo le voy a decir I'm my 30. 30 significa 30. O si ustedes me quieren decir 40, my 40s, my 50s, my 60s. Entonces de esa manera lo pueden hacer si no lo quieren decir muy específico. Y el tercero es su profesión, de qué trabajan. Entonces comenzaría yo. Ok, hi, my name is Juan. I'm in my 30s. I'm a teacher. Now, David, can you introduce yourself, please? Ok, teacher. Hello, my name is David. I am 28, 28 years old and I am a technical avionic. Good, 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 good. Nice to meet you, David. Nice to meet you too. Good. Next person, Oscar. Hello, uh, good night, everybody. My name is Oscar Gomez. I am 20 years old. I am an aircraft mechanic. Hey, nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too, Oscar. Only one thing, Oscar. Instead of saying good night, you have to say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Or what you were saying in that case, instead of saying good night, you have to say good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay, thank you. Good evening, good. Now, let's see, Nancy. Hello everyone, my name is Nancy. I am 27 years old and I'm a business administrator. Good, Nancy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Next one, we have Ruben. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Ruben. I am 33 years old. I am supervisor. Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Good. Next one. Um, let's see. We have Hugo. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Hugo Fonseca. I have 34 years old. I am electrical engineer. Okay. Hugo, just one thing. You said I have, I have 30, I have 40. But for the age, you need to say I am. So you would say I am 24, I am 30, I am 40, and like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Next one, Dennis. Hello, my name is Dennis. I am 21 years old. I am a class mechanic. Okay, good, Dennis. Only one thing. You need to say uh, my name is, my name is, you, you say it quickly, it sounds like name is, name is, name is, my name is, my name is, and then the other one, I am, I am 24, I am 25, I am 26, and like that. Good, nice to meet you, Dennis. Thank you. Next one, uh, Joshua, Jose Avalos. 
Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Josue Avalos. I am 30 years old. I am a jet metal mechanic. Okay, nice to meet you, Joshua. Nice to meet you too. Good, next one, Christian. Hi everybody, uh, I am Christian Cardona. I am 23 years old and I am a uh, aircraft mechanic. Okay, good, nice to meet you. Next one, Constantino. Good evening, my name is Constantino Guardado. I am uh, 47 years old. I am accounting. An accounting? Yes. Okay, nice to meet you, Constantino. Nice to meet you too. Next one, we have Adolfo. Adolfo? Adolfo? Hey, hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Adolfo Castro. I am 30 years old. And actually, I am inspector. Okay, nice to meet you, Adolfo. Nice to meet you, too. Good. Next one. We have another Joshua. Okay, Josue. We have two Josue. So, um, how do you prefer to be called, Josue, or you have another name? Uh, I am, my name is Melvin. William? Melvin. Come again? My name is... I can hear your name. Can you repeat it? Hi, my name is Melvin. Melvin. Sí. Okay, yes. nice to meet you, Melvin. Uh, I am uh, 20, 25 year old. Uh, I am uh, aircraft mechanic. Okay, good. Nice to meet you, Melvin. Hi. Next one, Jennifer. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Jennifer Quijano and I am 29 years old and I am production control. Good. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Next one. We have Cecilia. Hello. Hello. Hello, Cecilia. Can you introduce My name is... My name is Cecilia Castro. I am 24 years old and I'm, I'm an aircraft mechanic. Okay, nice to meet you, Cecilia. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Okay, next one we have Caesar. Caesar? Did you copy? Yes. Can you repeat? Did you copy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can start. Good. Good evening to everyone. I'm Cesar Benavides. I'm 33 years old and I'm a heavy maintenance warehouse clerk. Okay, good. Nice to meet you, Cesar. Next one, we have Manuel. Manuel. Manuel? Good night. Yes? Well, uh, my name is Manuel. And I have 31 years old. And I'm a aircraft mechanic. Okay, good. Remember that it is, it is I am. I am, instead of saying I have, I am. 
Okay. I am. Good. I am. Good. Next one. We have um, Edwin Sosa. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, my name is Edwin Sosa. I am 19 years old and uh, I am aircraft mechanic. Okay, nice to meet you, Edwin. Nice to meet you too. Next one. Let me see, what's your name? Felix. Felix. Okay, yes. so Felix, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Felix. I am 37 years old. Uh, I'm a um, warehouse coordinator. Okay, good. Nice to meet you, Felix. Nice to meet you too. Okay, good. So as you were introducing yourself, I can say that you can introduce yourself, but you need to check only two things. Remember that you say, my name is, my name is, you don't say my name is. My name is, no, because the first word is name, name with M. So you say, my name is, my name is, and then you mention right. your name. Second one, for the age, for the age, age, edad. For the age, you're going to say, I am, no, I have. I have a car, I have a sister, I have a brother, I have a dog, I have a house. But for the age, you're going to say, I am. I am 27 years old, I am 30 years old, I am 40, 50, 60 years old, as you prefer, yes? So just pay attention to that. Now, this was just the introduction. Now let's go down to business. So the topic that we have for today is related to activities. So daily activities, activities that you do every day. Those activities can be done in different ways. They can be at home, they can be at work, they can be uh, on the street, whenever you are and whenever you want. So I'm going to show you a video. You're going to watch a video and you're going to see um, how daily routines are. So I just need to show you something on the screen. You're going to see it and you let me know if you really can see what I'm telling you. Can you see it now? It says animated English. Yes? Okay, now let's watch the video. I usually wake up at seven o'clock, except on Sundays when I like to sleep in. The first thing I do after getting up is have a shower. After my shower, I get dressed and have breakfast. I normally have milk and cereal with a cup of coffee. When I have finished breakfast, I always clean my teeth. Most days, I leave the house at 7.45 and walk to the subway station, which is two minutes from my flat. I usually take the underground because it's quicker, but sometimes I catch the bus. From nine to five, I work in an office. If I'm busy, I have a sandwich at my desk for lunch. Otherwise, I go to the nearby coffee shop with a colleague. After sitting in front of the computer screen for most of the day, I need to get some exercise. So after work, I always go to the gym. In the evening, I like to relax by listening to some music with a glass of wine. <laughs> I rarely go out during the week, but on Saturdays I often go to the movies with my girlfriend. I usually go to bed at half past ten, but if I'm tired, I go to bed earlier. One thing I never do is drink coffee in the evening. It stops me from sleeping. Okay, so those were the activities. Activities that you have during a day. 
daily activities, activities that probably you do every single day. Now, a question, can you tell me the activities that you could hear on the video? Let's see, we have David. Can you mention one of the activities? Uh, activities, it's uh, take a shower and eat breakfast and okay. drink okay. a cup take of a shower, tea. Take a shower and eat breakfast. Good. I need one activity that they mentioned, but good. So take a shower and eat breakfast, he said. Good. Now let's see, Oscar, can you tell us one activity, please? Uh, he he has um, a exercises in and the gym. Okay, so he exercises. At exercises the gym. on the gym. At the gym, good. Next person, um, Nancy. Nancy. He um, drink a cup of coffee. Good, perfect. So he drinks a cup of coffee. Good. So this is like a routine, right? A routine every day. So he drinks with the S a cup of coffee. Good. Now, Ruben, another action. He catches the bus. Good, good, good. He catches the bus, or you can say he takes the bus. He takes the bus, or mm -hmm. he catches the bus, and the meaning is the same. Good. Okay. Next one, Hugo. Another action. Uh, he got to sleep early. Good. He goes to sleep early. He goes to sleep early. Good. Next one, Dennis. Um, activity um, and sleep. Okay, I sleep, or in this case, he goes to sleep or he sleeps, as you said. Good, next one. Um, let's see, Christian. Yeah, okay. Um, I, order, I order my, my bed. Okay, I order my bed. Or in other words, you can say, I make my bed. I make my bed or I order my bed, as you said, no problem. But the, the, the most common expression is, I make my bed. I know that make is create, but in this case, it means to put the things in order. So I make my bed. Okay. Good. Next one, Christian, another activity? Um, I go to the work. Good, 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 good. I go to work. Good. Let's see next person. Adolfo, another action? Hold on. The, the microphone, but let me see. Okay. There you go. Activity for the video. Yes. And he going to cinema on Saturday. Okay, good. So he goes to the cinema, is an action to next person, Josue. Josue, Josue? He, he wakes up very early. Good, 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 good. Next one, um, Wilbur, I guess. No, Melvin. Melvin, the microphone, Melvin. Melvin, the microphone. Melvin, touch the microphone on the left. There you go. I take a bus on the work. Okay, I take a bus to work. So all those activities, let's see Jennifer. He he goes to, to see the movie. Okay, he goes to see a movie. He goes to see a movie. Good. Manuel. 
uh, he listens to music. Okay, so he listens to music. Listens to music. Good. Next one, Felix. The microphone, Felix. Go to the microphone. Okay, sorry. Uh, after Shay. Okay. He is so after Shay. He shaves. Ah, uh, Shay. He shaves. He is shaved. His okay. mustache and beard. He shaves right. his mustache and beard. Good. Next okay. one. Okay. So you, you can see on the screen, I will write the word that he is saying, that Felix is saying. The word is shave. So you will see it on the screen. Shave. Can you see it? Shave. So that is a word. Good. Shave. Shave. Let's see. Caesar. He walks to the train station. Good. Good, good, good. Next one, Constantino. Constantino, the microphone. Yeah. He, he brushes his teeth. Perfect. So you say he brushes, he brushes his teeth. He brushes yeah. his teeth. Perfect. Next one, Edwin. So Edwin Neff. Uh, Cecilia. Yeah, early sleep. Uh, just sleep. Uh, breakfast, and I prefer coffee con with milk. Okay. And uh, take a bath. Is make uh, exercise. Okay. Do exercise. Do exercise. You do exercise. Do exercise. Good. Do Good. exercise. Good. Good. Okay, so all those activities that you are mentioning, some of them are at home, as we were saying before. Some of them are at the office. Some of them are on the street. Some of them are at a different place. Yes? So right now, I'm going to show you the book that you're going to see on the screen. So this is the menu. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to show you the, the four units that you're going to have. The first one is about work-related events, that this is the topic that we're having right now. The other one is about ongoing actions at the workplace. Next one is scheduled events at the workplace. And the last one is about tech support. It means when you have a, an object and the object is not working properly, when a machine is not working properly, so you ask for help, you ask for tech support. So here we have work-related events. And probably these are actions that you can see at work or that you perform at work. Some of you, if you work at an office, you're going to see it, but some of you who probably work at a shop, uh, like uh, in maintenance, you're not going to check emails or probably you do it because your boss sends you information. So we are going to read this um, conversation. It is between Sophia and Mario, Sophia and Mario. So I'm going to read it, check the pronunciation, and then I'm going to choose two people and one of you is going to be Sophia and the other one is going to be Mary. So listen to me and check pronunciation. If you have a notebook, write the pronunciation that you listen to in each of the words. So first one, <clears throat> what do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? So that is number one. Now, second one, I check my email. I check my email. I check my email and I call clients and I call clients, and I call clients, and I call clients for the rest of the morning, for the rest of the morning, for the rest of the morning. Then, what about you? What about you? What about you? Next one. I have to read a weekly report. 
I have to read a weekly report. I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. And attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. Next one. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. I check it once or twice a day. Next one. Great. It is very important. Great. It is very important. Yes? So now I'm going to read it quickly and then we are going to see, for example, Cecilia and Felix and like that. But right now I will read it the last time so that you can pay attention to the intonation and pronunciation. So first one, what do you do every, mo every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Now, do you have any questions about vocabulary that you see in the conversation? Questions about vocabulary? Preguntas sobre vocabulario? Questions about vocabulary? Yeah, I have a question. Yes? What, what is the meaning quickly, weekly, weekly, weekly report? Okay, weekly yeah. means every week, every week. It's like if you speak semanalmente, weekly. Yes, weekly report. Another word that you don't know? Yes, questions? Repeat, please, the organize meetings. Organize meetings. Or, organize meetings, okay. Organize meetings. Good. Thank, Another thank question, you. Guys? Pregunta sobre vocabulario, pronunciación. No? Significado de palabras? The, the pronunciation word client is correct, or client. Clients. Clients. You call clients, clients, clients. Clients, clients. Yes, clients. Another one? No? Okay. I, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Uh, if the correct pronunciation is once or in, in the, in the say, I check it once or it's correct or, or which word you said? Once, once or twice. Also, also. No, it is it is in, in the in in check it once. This is and then they say yes, I do actually. I check I check, I it, check once. it once. 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 Yes. I check it okay. once, once or twice. Okay. Once means one time. Twice okay. means two times. So you say once or twice. So once. one time, two times. Once or twice. So you can say once, una vez, or twice, dos veces. Okay. Okay. Por eso tienen once upon a time. Había una vez. Once upon a time. Okay, another one. Another one, guys. No? Okay, so if you don't have any questions, we can start with, we said Felix is going to be Mario. And let's see, what is Nancy? No, Sophia. Cecilia. Cecilia? 
Cecilia, Cecilia. Cecilia. The microphone. Sorry, the connection cut me. Okay. So um, you're going to be Sophia. Um, you're going to be Sophia in the conversation, and Felix is going to be Miriam. All right. Okay. What do you What do you do every Monday morning? I check my mail and call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Monday. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I am check it once or twice a day. Great, a very important. Okay, good, good job. So only the pronunciation. Okay. Three words. Uh, the first one is when you have check and it, check and it, you will say it, check it. Check it. All right. Check okay. it. So you will say, how often uh, do you check your email? And the person says, do you check it every day? Do you check it every day? Do you check it? Check it, check it, do you check it every day? Same thing when it says, I check it once or twice. I check it once or twice. Um, next one. It says, actually, 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 actually. And the last one, rate, rate, rate. Right, what it says, Sophia, over here. Right, right, right. Now, let's see other two people. Josue Avalos is going to be Mario. And let's see another girl, Nancy. Nancy is going to be Sophia. What did you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call client for the rest of the morning. What about you? I had to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Good job, good job. Now, just the pronunciation. You said clients, clients, clients. And the second one, what about, what about, what, 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 what about. Cuando la T está en medio de dos vocales, en ese caso, about termina con vocal, uh, uh, perdón, about comienza con vocal. Y what termina con T. Entonces esa T, si ustedes se fijan, tiene um, una vocal al lado izquierdo y una vocal al lado derecho. Entonces lo van a pronunciar como una R, no R, como una R de español. Entonces van a decir, what about, what about you? What about you? Yes? Ok, next one. We have Jennifer is going to be Sofía and Constantino is going to be Mario. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email. Uh, I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize my meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Okay, good, 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 good. 
Now, two things. Organize, 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 organize. And the other one is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Allí tienen lo mismo. Tienen la T en medio de dos vocales. En medio de la I y de la otra I de is. Entonces allí la fluidez va a ser it is. En vez de decir it is, para que se le escuche más fluido, it is. It is very important. It is very important. Good. Next one. Uh, David, we don't have more okay. girls. No more girls, only three girls. <laughs> so, sorry, no problem, guys. No problem. Uh, so, next one is going to be Edwin Sosa. So, Edwin Sosa is going to be Sophia. No okay. more options. Okay. okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check, I check my email and call, and I call client for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting, meetings every two Mondays. How often do you, do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually check checking one or twice a day great it is very important good job good job now one thing meetings meetings y allí vuelven a decir lo mismo la t en medio de dos vocales entonces van a decir meetings meetings good um and the other one is i check it once i check it once 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 good Next one, let's see who's missing, Ruben and Hugo. So Ruben is going to be Sophia and Hugo is going to be Mary. No more okay. options, guys. Okay, no problem. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and, and call client for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It's very important. Good job. Good job. Only one thing, once, check it once, once. You pronounce the yes. In that case, ese once no es el mismo que one, porque acuérdense que one significa uno, y esto significa una vez, once. Entonces pronuncian como una S, once. Good. Next one. Uh, Adolfo, do you participate, Adolfo? Not yet. Okay, so Adolfo and Caesar. Okay. Who? Adolfo, who is who? Mario, <laughs> and Caesar, Sophia. Okay. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, good, good, good. So just try to remember just try to remember that when you say I have to organize, 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 that sound is like zzz. So you say I organize meetings, I organize nice, nice, organize. organize meetings. Good, good. Next one, Christian, welcome back. 
So Kristen is going to be Mario and who's missing? Dennis, do you participate? No. Okay, so Dennis is going to be Sophia and Christian is going to be Mario. Okay. What do you what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call I call a client for the rest of me. What about you? I have to read a weekend report and after the meeting I also have to organize meeting. Every two Monday, how often do you check your mail? Do you check it every day? Yes, actually, I check it once or twice a day. Read is a very important. Okay, so you say, great, great, great. Right. Right. It is very important, 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 important. Good. And the other one is when you say uh, clients, co clients, what about you? What about you? Good. Next one. We have who's missing? Me. Oscar. Okay. Oscar is going to be Sophia. Another person? Another person who hasn't participated? Yeah, David. I have a participate. Okay, so David, you're going to let's, be Sophia. Let's do it. Okay. okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call client for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do. I, actually, I, I check in once or twice a day. Great. It's very important. Okay, good job. You have organized. 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 And the other one is? The other one is great. 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 Okay, we have Manuel. You haven't participated, right? No. Okay, Manuel, another person who hasn't participated? I am. Who? I puedo repetir. Who hasn't participated? Uh, Felix. Well, you want to participate again? Okay, no, no problem. Okay, so Mary is going to be Felix and the other person is going to be Sophia. Okay. okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I am check my mail and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Actually, I am check and um, twice or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Good, 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 good. You were doing it like slowly, but it, the pronunciation was super good, super good. Okay, so two things. Try to remember the pronunciation of the words and try to remember that when you say the things with fluency, they change in pronunciation. I will tell you this in Spanish, so that is clear. Uh, solo quiero decirles esto en español para que lo tengan en cuenta. Recuerden que cuando una palabra está sola, tiene una pronunciación, pero muchas veces cuando ustedes tienen una consonante con una vocal, ese sonido de la otra palabra siempre se va a unir, entonces van a escuchar como un sonido diferente. What about, y dónde está la R, what, a, 
No, ¿verdad? Entonces es el sonido de una consonante con la vocal. Entonces esos sonidos los van a ir escuchando y eso significa que ustedes van a tener fluidez cuando lo estén diciendo. No es lo mismo que me digan, what about you, que me digan, what about you. Ya es la fluidez. Entonces eso lo van a ir haciendo poco a poco. ¿Sí? En general, it was super good. Super, super good. So, good job, guys. Good job. Now, questions. Let's see, Nancy. What activities do Mario and Sofia? Mario and Sofia, plural. What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? What do they do on Monday? Check uh, uh, their email. Okay. So, Mario, Mario checks. Mario checks his email. Perfect. Check your email. I check my email. I, I check my email. But if I say he, he checks he, his email. He checks right. his email. Good. Next one. Um, let's see. Hugo, another action, Hugo? Uh, calls client. Okay, but who? Mario or Sophia? Mario. Okay, Mario. So Mario? Calls client. Perfect. Mario calls, you use the S when you say he or she. Mario calls clients. Good. Next one, Jennifer. Another activity that Mario and Sophia do on Monday? Sofia reads a weekly report. Perfect. Sofia reads with the S a weekly report. Good. Another one, Caesar. Caesar, the microphone. Okay, thanks. Uh, Sofia. Mm, attend some meeting, organize meetings. Okay, good. So Sofia attends meetings and uh, attends meetings and organizes, organizes meetings, organizes with the S, organizes meetings. Good. So next question. Let's see, Josué. What acti no, do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? Yes, no, and why? Do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? Yes, no, and why? Is it important to check your email? I check my email it is once or twice a day. Okay, is it important to check your email? Is it important? It is important. Why? I read, I read the, the weekly report. To check weekly reports, probably, probably. Let's see. David, do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? Yes, no, and why? Yes, it's important because I check in the in the uh, important is, is, uh, avisos. How do you say avisos? You can say information, important information. Uh, it's uh, important information for the bank. Okay. Or statements from the bank. Statements. Oh, statement. Statements are like see, things that you receive. It says five hundred dollars, one hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, like that. Those are statements. Good. So a statement. A statement. Statements. Yes, I will type it. You will see it on the on the screen. Just give me mm -hmm. a second because I need to find it. Okay. Statement. You can you can I, bank statement, a bank statement. 
So that is a word that you're going and to use. Thing. If you have any okay. questions or comments, you can also type over here. You can type on the chat. If you have any questions or you want to tell me something, like in this case, Josue Avaros is saying that it's raining here and here it is raining too. So I guess near your house is going to rain in some minutes too. Okay, let's continue. Um, as you can see, as you can see, you are describing some activities and probably these activities that you can see here on the screen are the ones that you do at work. Let's see what the activities are. Number one, Caesar, can you read number one? Okay, number one, check my email. Perfect. Oscar, number two. The microphone, Oscar. Type a letter. Perfect. Next one, Manuel, number three. Write a report. Perfect. Constantino, number four. Attend a meeting. Good. Christian, number five. Clients. Good. Uh, Ruben, number six. I read a report. Good. Edwin Sasa, number seven. Visit client. Good. Visit clients. Next one, Jennifer. Organize meeting. Good. Organize meetings. And as you can see, we have two more spaces. In those two spaces, we can add more activities that you do regularly at work. For example, let's see people who hasn't participated. David, can you tell me another activity that you do at work? Uh, reading a newspaper. Okay. Read. You, you read the newspaper at work? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But responsibilities that you have at work? <laughs> uh, another, another is, uh, um, I don't know. It's, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know what is uh, activities. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because probably you have more activities. I know that you drink yeah. coffee, you read the newspaper, you speak with your friends, you take a shower probably over there, but those are activities that are not related to work. But activities that are related to work, uh, let's see another person. Nancy, do you have an activity that you do at work? Nancy? Yes, and the most activity is drink my coffee and speak with my partners and check my emails and my cell phone. Okay, you check your cell phone. <laughs> yeah. But other activities that are like responsibilities that you have at work. Um, Check my emails and um, other clients. Repeat it, please. Check my emails and other clients. Attend clients. Okay, yeah. good. Good. Let's see, Jennifer, can you add another activity that you do at work? Jennifer? <laughs> yes. Um, write a message and send other person that work with me. Good, good. So you send messages and like that. Good. Let's see, last one. Hugo, can you tell us another activity that you do at work? Call. Uh, Organize meetings, um, check email. Okay, let's see another person. Um, 
Felix, can you tell us another activity, please? Um, I check my email. I'm meeting uh, the team and organization different uh, actions. Uh, uh, attend the client, clients, attend the clients, uh, and finish day and report, uh, send email. Okay, send emails. Good, 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 good. Let's see, Adolfo, do you have another action that you do at work? Uh, well, I take my breakfast <laughs> and <laughs> and later check my email and speak with my friends <laughs> but and at work what do you do do you fix engines or do you fix airplanes aircraft or uh, maybe 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 make and uh, work in the different airplane okay good and the last one, Wilbur. Wilbur? The microphone? Mm, I read, I report, um, I read the reference in the talk. Okay, good. So you have different activities that you do. And here in the list, you have check my email, you know the meaning, right? Number two, type, type a letter. What is the difference when you say type and write? I guess someone has a microphone, uh, Edwin. Okay, so when you write a letter, you write it with your hands. So that is right. Type is on the computer. You type a letter. Type is digital. Type a letter. Number three, three, you write a report. Number four, attend or arrive a meeting, a reunion, but you say meeting. You call clients, you read a report, you visit clients, and you organize meetings. Yes? So you have different activities. Now, from these activities that you have on the chart, we are going to complete the sentences with one of the activities that you have in the box. Let's see, number one, Caesar. Can you read it, please? Sorry, I, I, I can't hear so well because it's raining here. Yeah, in my house too. Uh, can you read the first one, please? Read the number one. I call okay. I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. Perfect. So you say I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. It means that you don't use you don't use your cell phone. You use your company's phone. Yes. Number two, Dennis. Uh, our secretary uh, write a report, then she sends the via email. Okay, okay, it could be. But here you're saying, then she sends, sends, send. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say our secretary writes, writes with the S. Le ponen la S cuando digan he, cuando estén hablando de un hombre o de una mujer o de una cosa, le ponen la S al verbo. So, our secretary writes reports in plural. Then she sends them via email. Good. Number three, Jennifer. I. I. Type a letter, 
tw twice a day I use my laptop computer. Perfect. So you can say I type a letter twi twice a day. It means two times a day. I use my laptop computer. Good. Next one, Constantino. Number four. four. Uh, I have to organize a meeting every Monday at 8. eight. Okay, perfect. I have to organize meetings every Monday. Every Monday at 8. Good. Edwin Sosa, number five. Cecilia client uh, or Cecilia organized meetings. Uh, the meetings, Cecilia. Yes, probably. So you can say Cecilia organizes. Cecilia organizes meetings. That meetings take place in the auditorium. Good. Next one, Josue Avalos. Number six, you're going to write your own information, your own information about you, about yourself. I read a report every morning. Okay, I write. Read a report. Oh, I read a report. Yes. I read a report every day, every morning. Okay, good. What about Felix? I I go a meeting Cecilia organization. Can you repeat it, please? Um, I go meeting. Cecilia organization. Okay, so I go to meetings. I go to, All right. to meetings. I go. Good, good, good. Christian, yeah. number six, your own information. Um, I receive the flights for Monday at eight o'clock. Come again. I received the clients for Monday at eight o'clock. Good, you received the wires. Okay, good, Cecilia. Next one. I, every morning read the manual, the joke of joke and Tascar for making that word. Okay, so you read a manual. Manual. Okay. Yes, but Good. install the parts, uh, repairs. Okay. Good. Good job. So these are activities that you do. Now I need you write on your notebook right now five activities that you do every day at work. Five activities that you do every day at work. And three activities that you do every day at home. Five activities at work, three activities at home. So there you have examples. So you can play them right now. I will give you Five minutes, five minutes. So write the, the sentence. If you have questions, you can ask me in the chat. You can send your questions in the chat. If you have any questions, just write the message in the chat and I will read it. I will help you.
Teacher. I am David. Okay, David. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Can you repeat uh, the, the instruction? You have to write five, uh -huh. five sentences about activities that you do at work. Five activities that you uh, do at work. And three activities that you do at home. Okay. Yes? Okay. Uh, yes. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Teacher, uh, yes. What do you say and uh, and different in write and in type? Uh, type is for in, computer. All right. In repeat, please. Type type is for computer. Type. And write all right. is with your hands. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. For the activities at home, for the three activities at home, you can write any action. I take a shower, I eat my breakfast, whatever you want to say. Teacher, yes. Uh, how do you say? How do you say, compañero de trabajo? Co-workers. 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 Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. I will show it to you on the screen so that you can copy.
teacher, uh, what do you say? And uh, mustache and beard. barba. Beard. What do you say? Uh, repeat, please. Beard. I will send it to you. Pick me up. And I, I'm confused. Confused. And, and pronunciation and and beer and bear. <laughs> bird is the animal. Bird is the animal. Yes. Bird. Bird. And this is beer. Beer is drink. And beer is what you drink. <laughs> and this is beer. <laughs> so you will see. Okay. The uh, the... Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Help. Yes, Christian. Um, what do you say? Llevar a cabo. Llevar a cabo. But what do you yeah. want? To, what do you want to say in the sentence? Uh, uh, me coordino con mis compañeros con las tareas que llevaremos a cabo. I coordinate with my co-workers to, to, to organize the activities that we are going to do. To organize the activities that we are going to do. Organize the activities? That we are going to do. Okay. Do is the verb. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, time's up. So let's see your answers. It's number one. Number one is going to be David. So tell us the five things and the rest of people pay attention because I'm going to ask you, for example, Nancy, can you tell us one activity that David does every day at work? And you have to tell me one of the actions you heard that David said. So let's start with the first one, David. Okay, first one. I check my email before work. Good. Number two. Second, I organize the important document with my core worker. Good. And the last one, number three, only three. Okay, I drink a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Yeah, before work. Okay, good. Let's see, Oscar. Can you tell us one of the activities, please, that David does? That 
The microphone, Oscar. He drinks a coffee. He drinks and a coffee or a cup of coffee. Yes. Um, he organizes uh, with her co-worker. He organizes. Organizes for her no for his co-worker with his co-workers okay and the last activity that he said um, activities uh, the david or mike david ah uh, uh, that oh. okay <laughs> Let's be david. can you tell us please yeah, yeah. The first, I check my email before work. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Oscar? Uh, he checks her, his email uh, to work. At work or before work? At, at work. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, okay. good Oscar, thank you. Now let's see, Nancy, can you tell us your activities, please? Three activities at work. Uh, check and answer uh, emails about different requests. I drink a cup of coffee every day in the morning and I receive and process the task card every day and all the day. Good, 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 good. Now, Hugo. Can you tell us the three activities that Nancy said about her routine? Uh, Nancy uh, receive all the task cards every day. Okay, um, Nancy receives with the task cards. Receives task card every day. Good. Uh, she uh, checks uh, his email every day. Her email. Uh, he, she checks her email. Her, her email. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I am only listening to. Okay, what is the other one, Nancy? Drink a cup of coffee. So, Hugo? Uh, she takes a cup of coffee. Okay, or she drinks a cup of coffee. Good, good, good. Now, Dennis, can you tell us three activities that you do at work? Dennis, Alexis? You changed your, the name. Sorry, sorry. Es que está lloviendo, me escucho muy bien. Okay, can you tell us the three activities that, that you do at work? Three activities that you do at work. Okay, okay. I make my checklist. I advance I my work. I get I get to the wording point of time. Okay, hold on. Can you repeat it please? Number one. I make my checklist. I make my checklist. Good. Number two. Yeah. I advance my in my work. I advance in my work. Okay. In my work. Number three? I get, I get to the wording point on time. I get, I get to the? To the wording point on time. To the wording uh, point, point on, time. on time. Okay, Yeah. good. Now let's see, Adolfo, can you tell us the three activities that Dennis said? Okay, he, he makes checklist. He makes a checklist. And he makes a checklist. And he he gets he gets a bonding on time. Huh. He gets to the point on time. Time and the other he advances in the in your work. He advances. Advances. He advances in and he works. His work, good, his work. Good. His work. Cuando dicen your work es 
de la, con la persona con quien están hablando. En ese caso me dirían, tu trabajo, your work. Pero quiere decir okay. el trabajo de él. His, his work. El trabajo de ella, his work. her work. Good. Now, Good. next one. Wilbur, three activities that you do at work. Um, I, I read to reference for your setup. I Can send report. Can you repeat the number one, please? I read refer for word setup. For word setup. Okay. Yes. Number two. I send report when I find it day. Good. Number three. Uh, I check. I check safety on area uh, on adjacent area for work. Okay. Good. Let's see. Ruben Asensio, can you tell us what Josué said? Uh, he read the reference for work, work setup. He? Uh, he read the reference for setup. He reads? He, he read reference for work setup. Okay, number two. He sent report uh, the the end of the the sentence I can <laughs> hear. <laughs> okay, but he sends reports. He sends reports. Yes. Good. Yes. Next one. Uh, he checks safety adjacent area. Okay, he checks. Good. 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 Next one, Jennifer. Can you tell us the activities that you do? I receive an audit the card that said that sent a client. Okay, so you want to say I receive uh, I help yes. I receive. I receive good uh, an audit the task that send a client client okay good number two i have help the technique the technique for that for the transaction on the system of the client okay and the last one uh, i read and send the email at coordinator to to a coordinator to, to the coordinator to okay. coordinator good good jennifer those are long activities so let's see how good your memory is christian can you tell us the activities please okay uh, she received an audit the task for send a client. Good. And she helped the technician for the transition for the client. Good. And she reads the email here for the coordinator. Good, good, good. Great. Good. Let's see next three activities. Manuel. It is in the work. Yes. At, at work. At work. Uh, uh, I take a breakfast. I drink water. <laughs> and I check my email. Okay. I would like to have a job like that. Drink coffee, <laughs> eat breakfast. Good. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Edwin Sosa, can you tell us the activity that Manuel said? Yes, um, I read the task at work. No, about Manuel. Ah, about Manuel. Ah, uh, he uh, drink water. He drinks. Drinks water. Uh, he take a breakfast. He takes take 
makes a breakfast and he check checks uh, his his email. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Next one, Josué Avalos. Can you tell us three activities that you do at work, please? Okay. Number one, I have meeting before to start work. Good. And I remove different component damage of the icon. Okay. And three, I have lunch. I had lunch at 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. Early. Yeah. Early. Okay, yeah. let's see, Felix, can you tell us the activities that Josue Avalos does? All right, number two, and no, no, no listen. Okay, I you didn't, you didn't repeat. listen to uh, his second sentence. Okay, Josue Avalos, can you repeat the number two, please? The number two is I remove different component damage of the aircraft. Different. Okay. Remove component damage. Oh, components of the aircraft. Components. Com components. components. Like parts. Okay. Good. I oh, Felix. Okay, um, he is a, a read report and tasker. And he, he, he's, he's, he he reads. Is read, he's read report tasker. And number two, different remove parts, the aircraft and, and damage. Component. Component. And component. Okay. And three have a launch. Uh, uh, and sorry. His. He has. Uh, he has the launch 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock. Good. Remember to use the S. He checks. He has. Okay. He works. He's, okay. Okay. Good. Next okay. one. Cecilia. Yes. Can you tell us your activities, please? Yep. Three activities. The at work. I'm not listening. Three activities that you um, do. At work. I, I installed. I guess she has problem with connection. Yeah, she had problem with connection. Cecilia? Uh, sorry. I installed a panel in a wing in aircraft. I read the manual of Word. I cleaned the part during our, a of a company. I installed a computer. Okay. Let's see if Constantino, Constantino got the idea. Constantino, can you tell us three activities that she mentioned? Excuse me? Can you tell us three activities that Cecilia mentioned, please? I, I don't listen very well. Uh, the, the chair only install a computer, I don't... Okay, so let's uh, ask Cecilia again. Can you repeat the activity, Cecilia? Cecilia? I think that she has problem with connection. Cecilia? The microphone? We can hear you. No, no escuché nada. Okay, Cecilia, can you repeat the, the three activities, please? And the word? Yes. Oh, and the home. No, at work, repita las actividades. Lo que pasa es que Constantino no le escuchó. Creo que está lloviendo fuerte. Ah, uh, ok. Uh. Good. 
the internet again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably because of the rain. The rain is a problem. Cecilia? Creo que se le va el internet. Um, I installed panel. No le escuchamos. Repítelo, por favor. Listen. Yes? Es que... Ok, es que la, la PP se corta, por eso no puedo seguir porque se cierra y se vuelve a abrir. Voy a repetir las cosas otra vez. Ok. I, I installed a panel in a wing on Earthcraft. I uh, cleaned the part duty of a component. I installed the computer. Ok. Who got the sentences? Caesar, do you have the answer? Uh, a kind of. <laughs> okay, what do you get? What she do you get? She's a computer, she cleans a, a material and install a, something on the wind, something like that. Okay, and Constantino, what do you get? Yes. Uh, I need to install a computer, I install a components of Wing, uh, the other I don't remember. Yeah, I didn't get it either. Yeah. I didn't get it either. But I guess uh, maybe in her case is the connection because of the rain, because at the beginning she was speaking clearly. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all those activities that you were describing are activities at work and those are activities that you have like a routine yes so you do it with some frequency but also you have activities at home for example david tell me one activity that you have at home at my home i take uh, i take a shower okay i take a shower so if I want to talk about David, I would say, David takes a shower. So you use the S in the verb when you say okay. he, she, or it. So in this case, I'm talking about David. David takes a shower. And this is really important, mention the S. Good, David. Let's see, Oscar, can you tell us one activity that you do at home? Okay, okay. Um... I read a book for uh, 45 minutes. Good. All days. Good, good, good. David, can you tell us what Oscar said? Yes, Oscar reads a book in one and three minutes a day. 45 minutes? 40, no, the three or four minutes a day. Oh. Oscar, uh, you said three or four minutes or 45? No, 45 minutes. Uh, <laughs> Oscar reads, read uh, three, 40 minutes a day. Reads. 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 Oscar reads. Perfect. Good. Let's see, Hugo, can you tell us one activity that you do at home? Uh, I make the dinner every night. Come again? Uh, I make the dinner every night. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good. Nancy, can you tell us what Hugo said? He makes dinner every night. Perfect. He makes... Good. Adolfo, can you tell us one activity, please, that you do at home? Okay. Well, I help my son with his homework i help my son yes my son with his homework perfect let's see dennis can you tell us what adolfo does dennis alexis uh, he has your son no, I don't have a son right now. In the future, yes, but not right now. No es mi hijo. Me está diciendo your son tu hijo. Uh, 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 his son. Hijo de él. His son. His okay. son. 
Yeah, yeah. So, can you repeat it? Uh, he helped his son. He helps his son. His son. Good. Okay. Uh, Edwin, can you tell us your activity? One activity uh, at home, please. I draw in uh, for one hour every day. Can you repeat it? I make drawings. I okay. drawing every day. Drawings. Good. Now Jennifer, what does he do? Yes. Yes. Good. Jennifer? Tell us about he, he makes drawing for three hours. Oh, every day. Good. Now, Melvin, can you tell us one activity that you do at home, please? Um, I take a, take a dinner with my family. Okay. In this case, instead of saying take a dinner, you can say have dinner. I have dinner. Have dinner. Because oh, take dinner, take dinner is cuando ustedes ya tienen como un tiempo límite para hacer algo. Entonces, por ejemplo, en el trabajo sí pudiesen decir I take my lunch, porque tienen una hora límite. Pero generalmente uno dice I eat breakfast, I eat lunch, o si no, podría decir I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have dinner. Y más común es decir I have, I have lunch, I have dinner, I have breakfast. I have dinner. Okay, so I have dinner with my family, you said. With my family. Good. Ruben, can you tell us about uh, Melvin, please? Yes, uh, he takes his dinner. <laughs> oh, but at the end he didn't say I take. He said, yes. I have my dinner. So he... He eats dinner. He eats. Uh, he eats dinner. He, he eats dinner. Dinner. Or he has. He has dinner. Okay. I will type it so that you can see it on the screen. Um, he has. Well, hold on. You will see it on the screen. He has dinner. Yes, so that's the way that you have to say it. He has dinner. Good. Next one, Caesar. Can you tell us one activity that you do at home? Okay. Um, I wash the dishes every day. Really? I play. With, yeah, I have to. Oh, okay. And Good. I have. Good. I Good. I play with my son. Okay. Okay, good. Let's see, Felix. Can you tell? Can you tell us what Caesar does, please? Well, Felix is busy, I guess. Um, Cecilia, Cecilia, can you tell us one activity about Caesar? Sorry, no, no listen. Tell us one activity about Caesar. Caesar, can you repeat it? Only one, the yeah. first one. The first one, uh, I wash the dishes Good. every day. Good. Cecilia? He washes the dishes. Perfect. He washes, he washes the dishes. Or you can say, he does the dishes. You can say wash the dishes or do the dishes. Good. Christian, can you tell us your activity, please? Yeah, I prepare, I prepare my breakfast. I prepare my break, break, breakfast. Breakfast. Good, 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 good. Let's see, Jose Avalos, can you tell us about Christian, please? He prepares 
his breakfast. His breakfast. Good. Good, good, good. And the last one, Constantino, can you tell us about one activity that you do at home, please? Uh, uh, I play with my pet. Good. Manuel, can you tell us about Constantino? He plays with his pet. Perfect. So, the only thing that you have to do, as you can see, is to use the yes when you talk about another person. Yes? Good. Good job. So, in general, feedback. Feedback. Remember to use the yes when you talk about a, a man or a woman. Use the yes. Yes? If you talk about I, we, you, they, no S. But if you say he, or you say Christian, or you say Constantine, or you say the name of a boy, you use the S. If you mention a girl, use the S. Now, possessive. Your, tuyo, tu, the tuyo, your name. Yes? But if you are talking about a boy, his name. If you are talking about a girl, her name. Yes? So that is feedback that I can give you about today's class. So this is what we have for today. I don't know if you have any questions about the class. Questions, guys? No? No. OK. No, it's clear. Perfect. Now, in Spanish, to make these things clear, Vaya, ahora en español, ya terminamos la clase, como se pudieron dar cuenta, pasa rápido el tiempo, ya son las 8.55, solamente tenemos 5 minutos. Entonces, estos 5 minutos los voy a ocupar para explicarles cómo se trabaja en Schoology. Hay algunos de ustedes que todavía no han creado el perfil en Schoology, necesito que me lo envíen ahora, necesito que se suscriban, ya les mandé el código. Con el código ustedes solo lo copian y lo dirigen al curso. Directamente. Entonces, no es mayor cosa. Igual les mandé el video paso a paso cómo se hace para que lo, lo puedan lograr hacer. ¿Quiénes faltan que lo hagan? De los que están ahorita aquí presentes. ¿Quiénes faltan? Bueno, igual ya lo vamos a ver, así que ahí va a salir uh, expuesto. Vaya, en Schoology, como yo les dije anteriormente, Ustedes lo van a ocupar para entregar tareas. Entonces, ustedes esas tareas las van a entregar accesando a Schoology. Y se los voy a mostrar ahorita para que vean dónde van a acceder y lo que tienen que hacer. Vale. Este es Schoology y ustedes aquí tienen cursos. El mío está en inglés. No sé si ustedes lo tienen en inglés o en español, pero igual es el segundo. Donde dice Courses, eh, es curso. Entonces, en mi caso, yo tengo todos estos cursos agregados, pero en su caso solo les va a aparecer este de aquí abajo que dice Principiante 2 y Support, Speak S -A -S -B. Entonces, este es donde ustedes van a acceder. Ustedes le dan clic después de, de, de que ya ingresaron el, el, el código, le dan clic y les tiene que salir este portal con las actividades por semana. Semana 1, semana 2, semana 3, semana 4. Obviamente, semana significa 5 cinco, cinco clases. ¿Sí? 5 clases de 2 horas. Entonces, como ustedes son 3 horas de esta semana, recuerden que serían las otras 2 de la otra semana, ¿verdad? Para completar una semana. Entonces, aquí tienen el libro de estudiante, dice el libro de estudiante básico 2, lo descargan. Y aquí, cronograma de... De actividades, esto no es necesario porque esto es para el control de support. Ahora, aquí en semana 1, ustedes eh, le dan clic a semana 1 y ustedes aquí van a ver videoconferencias grabadas. Esta clase se está grabando ahorita, significa que yo uh, subiré la clase a este portal. Ustedes podrán acceder a YouTube y allí van a ver la clase por pues, si tienen dudas, ¿verdad? O si en caso se enfermaron, pasó algo. Lo pueden ver igual en YouTube para que no se pierdan la clase. Aquí dice videoconferencia. Y entonces si le dan a videoconferencia, aquí van a encontrar el enlace que los trae para la, la clase. Que es el mismo enlace que yo les he enviado al, al WhatsApp. 
Entonces, a ese mismo enlace ustedes van a acceder todas las veces que tengamos clase. Luego dice guía de trabajo. Y aquí tienen la primera. Esta guía de trabajo va a ser entregada el 2 de julio. ¿Qué significa que es día jueves? Y tienen hasta las 11.59 para hacerlo. ¿Cómo lo van a hacer? Le dan aquí, descargan la actividad y completan los ejercicios que están allí. Están en PDF, ustedes los pueden pasar a Word o lo digitan en PDF. Ya saben que hay programas para digitar en PDF también, lo pueden digitar ahí. Y luego, ¿qué van a hacer? Ustedes, a ustedes les va a aparecer aquí una opción donde dice agregar archivo. Entonces le van a dar agregar archivo y le dan enviar. Entonces eso es como lo van a hacer. Igual el miércoles les voy a explicar otra vez para que les quede claro. Luego dice videos orientados a la temática. Van a ver todos los videos que vamos a ocupar en clase. Ocupamos este ahora que dice daily activities. Y los próximos días ocuparemos los otros. Luego dice foro de consultas. En foro de consultas ustedes me pueden hacer todas las preguntas que quieran. En foro evaluado son foros que ustedes van a responder unas preguntas, unas preguntas y yo les voy a decir cuándo. Igual la entrega de ejercicios y el examen, el examen semanal que yo les voy a indicar cuándo será. Entonces eso sería todo por el momento chicos. Ya van a ser las nueve en punto. Se va a terminar la sesión. Muchas gracias por haberse conectado a tiempo la mayoría de ustedes y así de esta manera terminamos la clase. Espero igualmente poder verlos a todos mañana. Traten de repasar en su tiempo libre lo que puedan de la clase que tuvimos ahora para que sigan afinando, ¿verdad? Eso sería todo por mi parte. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Antes que no. ¿No? Bueno, no, no. quedamos no, para mañana. No. Igual les explicaría en estas últimas clases, siempre recordándoles cómo trabajar con Sculpey. O oh, una cosa se me olvidó mostrarles, los que están activos para que vean los que faltarían. Vaya, en miembros me aparecen Denis, ya está inscrito, Josué Ábalos, César, Cristian, Félix, Adolfo, Cecilia, Nancy, David, Rubén, Hugo, Melvin, Oscar, Manuel. Manuel Granados, Constantino, ah, hace poco lo hicieron, Edgardo Marroquín, Jennifer Quijano y Edwin, entonces ya están todos, ya están todos. Así que gracias por estar ahí y nos vemos mañana, descarguen el libro para que puedan practicar la conversación también. So, thank you for being there, I see you tomorrow, have a good night. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.